The Fish and Wildlife Commission just reported that low concentrations of red tide continue to be found in Pinellas County, although it's nothing like what's been going on in Sarasota and Manatee counties. Researchers there are racing against the clock to find some solutions. News Channel 8's John Rogers joins us now live from Anna Maria Island, and this just continues to be like a plague for folks down there. It really is. Certainly is an environmental crisis, Jen. And over at Moat Marine Lab, it's been all hands on deck. They've been bringing on interns, volunteers, even information from the public to respond to this crisis. For Dr. Tracy Finera, the pressure has been relentless. How have the past few weeks been for you? Insane. She and her fellow researchers are in the thick of this crisis every day, and she constantly hears from people desperate for answers. It's heartbreaking to hear how affected they are by this naturally occurring phenomena, and, and we want to find a way to protect them. So researchers are employing a wide variety of tests. They're studying organisms that can eat red tide. Others are studying water treatment technologies. Fellow scientists are discovering how storms impact red tide. They all want to find out what's causing this algae bloom to intensify and what kind of methods can stop it. I think that everybody feels a lot of pressure because this is a public health issue. And they're using the latest technology, like this cell phone microscope funded by NASA. It kind of uses face detection technology. By obtaining a tiny water sample, they can quickly identify whether there's red tide in the water. This will save us a lot of time and make our forecasting more accurate and give us more real-time results. The more these uh, scientists this learn, the better we'll be able to fight this crisis and others in the future. In the meantime, county crews are scrambling to clean it, to clean up these beaches. Get this in Manatee County, crews this week cleaned up 160 cubic yards of dead fish. And then this is unbelievable, guys. In Sarasota County, since August 1st, crews cleaned up 66 tons of dead sea life from area beaches. We're live on Anna Maria Island tonight. John Rogers, News Channel 8.